Hi, Miss Fiona. What are you doing? Oh, hello, kids. Just getting my garden ready for the winter. Getting it ready? You grow vegetables in the winter? <laughs> Not quite, Destin. Every year, a garden needs time to rest from growing delicious vegetables and get ready for the next growing season. Rest? Dirt gets tired? I think she means that plants take a lot of vitamins and stuff out of the dirt to grow, and this is the time of the year to put them back in. Laura's right. See? I've pulled up all the old plants from the summer, and by mixing in these old leaves and compost, the dirt will become rich enough for big healthy plants to grow next season. Hmm. Huh. I just thought plants grew because that's what they do. There's a little more to it than that. That's right. It's a lot of work. And if you two aren't busy... I guess we can take a little bit of time out of our schedule to help. <laughs> How generous. But weren't we supposed to be going to Mr. Jacob's house to listen to radio programs? Come on, Destin. Miss Fiona's got a lot to do. She could use a little bit of help. Besides, I was just going to tune in to Family Life Fall share with this portable radio that Lionel lent me for the weekend. It's the share How are they doing? Let's listen and see. All right, that garden bed looks like it's ready for another layer of leaves. You got it, Miss Fiona. Thank you, Laura. Is everything okay, Destin? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? You look rather pensive. Oh, no. I was just thinking. Ah, what was on your mind? It's this whole share thing. I guess I just don't understand why it's a thing. That's easy. <clears throat> share is the way that God uses his people to raise money so that family life can do all kinds of amazing things for him. Things like concerts, performing arts events, counseling, seminars, and even the radio station and podcast just wouldn't be possible without the generous support of us, Friends of the Ministry. Wow. Did they tell you to say all that? Come on. It's not like they gave me a script or something. It's in this brochure they sent my parents. See? Does that clear things up for you, Destin? Not really. I knew all of that. I just don't understand why God needs us to give money so that family life can keep doing what it does. But I just read that part. Because without our help, all that stuff wouldn't be possible. I don't know, Laura. God's pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure he could make it all happen without our help. Well, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hadn't thought of it that way. You do have a point, Destin. God doesn't need our help. But in verses like 1 Timothy 6.18 and Hebrews 13.16, he tells us that he wants us to be generous with our money, especially when it comes to helping people who serve him. But why? If he doesn't need us, then why does he want us to help? Oh, there are many reasons. Name three. All right. Firstly, because when we are generous, we are becoming more like God. Ephesians 5.1 tells us to follow his example, showing his love and being willing to give, just like Jesus showed us. Okay, that's a pretty good reason. Yep, you've got two more to go. Okay, Destin. Well, for the next one, I have a little drama script that I wrote earlier that I think fits nicely. You write drama scripts? I thought that was just a Mr. Jacobs thing. Why not? Lionel isn't the only writer out there. Besides, he's been giving me some pointers. Well, you go get the scripts. We're going to listen to the share for a little bit. Sounds good. Be right back. And now, from the garden of Fiona Watson comes the fruitful drama. The Two Gardeners, an adapted biblical parable about generosity. Watson, shh, stick to the script, Destin. Once upon a time, there were two neighbors. Good morning, neighbor. Fine day, isn't it? Sure is, neighbor. The sun is shining, and I do reckon that winter has passed. Mm-hmm. It's just about time to start working in our gardens. I was thinking the very same thing. And so the two neighbors went to work. They tilled the soil, set up fences, and ordered seeds online. Beans are my favorite. Soon the danger of frost had passed, and it was time to start planting. Planting? Of course. We take our seeds and we put them in the ground, like this. You mean, I have to give up my delicious beans and bury them in the ground? Um, yeah. They can't grow unless you put them in the ground and bury them. That's kind of how gardening works. Haven't you done this before? I usually buy seedlings. I hit the wrong button on the website. 
And so, one of the neighbors planted all their favorite seeds, joyfully imagining the coming harvest. This is going to be fantastic! Whilst the other neighbor took her seeds inside and did something different. I'm not going to throw away good beans. Bearing them is like throwing them away. I'm going to enjoy them. Now then, where's my baked beans recipe? Later that year, both neighbors greeted each other again. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning to you. Your garden looks delightful. Oh, yeah. It's been a great year for veggies. I got okra and beets and more tomatoes than I know what to do with. And don't get me started on the beans. You have beans? Sure do. Uh, speaking of which, how's yours garden? I remember you were preparing at the same time I was. Yeah, I didn't plant anything. So yeah, no harvest for me this year. That's too bad. Here, I have way too many beans as it is. I'm glad to let you have some. Really? The moral is that God has designed the world so that when we selflessly give up something, we will get something back in return. In the case of seeds, we have to give them up so that they can grow into plants that give us food. In the case of giving what we have to God, he takes those gifts and uses them not only to bless us, but the whole world. So when God calls you to give to him, it's important to be generous, because when we give a lot of ourselves, then God will be sure to be generous back. Miss Fiona, I think this is all of the compost you have left. Where would you like me to put it? Let's save that for the flower beds up front, Destin. Thanks, though. No problem. So, Miss Fiona, you've talked about two reasons why God wants us to give to ministries like Family Life. Oh, yeah. You have one more reason to go. That's right. What were the first two again? It's a way for us to be like God, and because when we give generously, God gives back to us generously. Exactly right, Laura. The third reason I can think of is because, by giving to ministries, it's a way we worship God. Worship Him? I don't get it. What does singing in church have to do with what we've been talking about? Worshipping God isn't just singing in church, Destin. Worship is using what God has given us to show Him that we love Him. The Bible tells us in verses like Colossians 3.23 that everything that we do can be worship. And in John 14.15, Jesus tells us that the best way to show God that we love Him is to follow His instructions. And like we've already talked about today, that means giving generously, just like He does. Hmm... That's a lot to think about. Those are three really good reasons for us to give during the share Are there more? Many more. But to hear them, you'd be better off listening to the share yourself. Oh, I've got to finish my garden work. Can we stay here and listen? Of course. Let's see how they've been doing so far. <laughs> <laughs> 